I've always been a visual person. My greatest wonder has been how are music and art related? Can they represent each other? I started my research exploring this relationship between music and visual art. My main focus was to first understand how neural processing of music might be related to other aspects of expression, such as language or visual art. I read a paper by Markey and Associates 20, 2019, and they spoke about syntactic and semantic processing, and then how this is associated with neural structures that are activated when listening to music. Having quite some time since I've studied neuroscience, I had to refresh my memory on these terms. Syntactic processing refers to the structure and phrases of words, so think syntax. Semantic processing, on the other hand, is associated with the meaning of words or phrases. Good start so far? I thought so. The scientific information, interesting as it was, wasn't very informative to me. It didn't explain how I could turn the experience of music, however neurological it may be, into a form of visual art. Digging deeper, I stumbled upon the electropolic. It's an electronic invention by Dmitry Morozov that acts as both an artist and a computer. It uses music as the input, which influences the color of the ink, the speed of the paper coming out, and even how the brush strokes move. Finally, a starting point to help me understand a small part of the process. Realizing that I am in no way comparable to a machine, having many imperfections myself, I began to search for artists who have taken on this challenge with me. The idea of synesthesia caught my attention next. This medical phenomenon is a condition where people who experience this can see music or smell a word. In other terms, it involves more than two senses being activated at one time when you're exposed to a specific stimulus. There are some visual artists who can actually see color through sound, which brings us to Melissa McC McCracken, as she is one of them. Here are some of her paintings. Unlike Melissa, we can't all see music in color. So how do we use music to paint like she does? I thought of structured ways that I could learn to paint through music, like Melissa or the Electropolic. But what's the difference between the two? The factor of emotion. I began to dive into the art of emotion and color next. The color green and blue, for example, are often referred to as cold colors and are associated with the emotion of calm and serenity. And this is why they're used more commonly in medical establishments. Red, on the other hand, as I'm sure you could guess, is often associated with the emotions rage and the feeling of intensity. To help me understand this association between color and emotion, I researched symbolism and color, stumbling upon this powerful message by Young and Kim. Colors effectively communicate the visual images, enabling the association of ideas and symbolic meanings based on individual senses and experiences. This researcher relates the four elements, earth, fire, air, and water, to colors. She used the example of fire imagery, which can conjure feelings of ascension, or even as previously discussed, rage. Through Kim's research, I learned that consulting the elements when understanding the connection between color and emotion can be an outlet for further representation through music. Now, how do I create a guideline for myself? My original goal was to create a piece of art based on a favorite song of mine. But how do I even start to do this? I realized it's time to get personal. Meanings are associated with color that also have to do with individualized experiences, meaning that no two people will experience color and emotion the same way. Finding my own color associations to emotion will allow me to better connect to music. There is a cycle for this creation process and it will look different to everyone. For example, listen to this. What colors did you think of? I felt very happy, overjoyed and excited 
which led me to the color yellow, as I often associate this basic color with happiness. Here's a collage of colors often seen after listening to this piece of music. Do any of them look familiar? My emotional collections to color will be different from others. The emotions that I experience through music will also be different from others. And overall, the way I combine these factors into a visual representation will be entirely unique. My exploration of color and emotion will continue as I prepare to create a painting inspired by one of my songs. Stay tuned. <laughs>